A meteor shower happens when Earth is passing through uh, a part of its orbit where, where we know there's um, debris, little teeny tiny rocks along our orbit. And it's those rocks that as they hit the atmosphere, they cause the atmosphere to glow and we see it as a streak of light that we would call a meteor or a shooting star. So the Perseids is, is pretty well known because on the night of the peak in August of the Perseids, in a typical hour, you might see 50 meteors. So it's usually a couple of days. And so um, uh, August 11th and 12th uh, will be the peak of the um, uh, Perseids uh, this year. You need clear weather, you need a dark sky, so, so on a night where the moon is really bright, that's not a good night to look. If you have access to like a big field where you can lay down on the grass and look up and see as much of the sky as possible. So for Penn State students, for example, I often tell them, you know, the hub lawn or old main lawn, like those big open patches of grass where there aren't a lot of trees blocking a lot of the sky are, are really the best places to, to try to observe a meteor shower. Thank you.